With each new generation of AI model, we expect a quantum leap. And it seems like ChatGPT 5 set for release in July 2025, or so the rumor mill says, will break all barriers. In fact, OpenAI themselves have been surprised by the performance of this model. Now, it's important to know that OpenAI tried to make ChatGPT 5 already and they failed. They failed because of the scaling wall. They gave it much more data and compute, but it wasn't scaling up the performance in the way that they had come to expect. That was Project Orion. And because it failed, they didn't want to give it the name GPT-5. It wasn't good enough, so they gave it the name 4.5. They wanted ChatGPT5 to be completely revolutionary, and it seems like they've managed to do that. And the way that they've done that is by giving it the ability to think. For a long time, models just crapped out information as quickly as possible. Whereas if you give it a sort of loop like humans have and think before it puts it out, you can make the models much more efficient. You can get a lot more out of them with the same compute. That's why in late November last year, Sam Altman said, there is no wall. In other words, there is no scaling wall. And in principle, there's no limit to the intelligence these models can have. Sam Altman said that it would be summer this year that it would be released. And this ties up with insiders who say the date is July 2025. So it's just around the corner. And the most important question is, what are the features? And secondly, will it achieve AGI? ChatGPT 5 comes with mega features. It has the obvious. It will have better ability to reason, better ability to converse like a human and more fluently. It will align all the other models into one unified model instead of having photo and blah, 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 blah. It unifies them all for the audio and the images and the chat. However, this model also has super agentic architecture. It can break down problems and send them to the smaller agents within its system who are specialized in certain areas like medicine or marketing, for example. It will also have agentic autonomous features. So in other words, it will be able to act in the world. Some of the examples of this will be if you want it to design and code a website, then it will design and launch that website for you, which is not good for website developers. It will also be able to create software. If there's a certain piece of software that you think will be quite neat, it will do the coding for you in order to generate that software. You can ask it to launch a marketing campaign where it will target the right audience and deliver leads to that audience for you. It can also work as an IT consultant by, if you have an IT problem, look into your system and decipher the problem for you to troubleshoot and deal with. In other words, what it will be able to do is, given a prompt, it will be able to complete task execution end to end. You give it a task and it will plan and implement that solution. It will involve working with other softwares. It can collaborate with other softwares in order to execute tasks. It can access your banking accounts in order to help you budget or spend or buy certain things. So this will be a proactive assistant, not just a chatbot. Now, the big one is, will this model have self-recursive learning in order to improve its own code and learn without supervision to expand its own power? The answer is, lim to a limited level, yes. It will be able to spot bugs in its own code and improve its own code. It's true that behind the scenes, or it's certainly rumoured behind the scenes, that OpenAI have been working on recursive learning within the models but in a very controlled way so that we don't get runaway unaligned AI. The public facing model is very unlikely to have unlimited self-learning capabilities, but it will have minor self-improvement capabilities within it. Other features that are anticipated are memory. It will remember your previous conversations in order to give context. Sometimes when you speak to a chatbot, it's like it's speaking to you for the first time ever, whereas now it will remember you and be able to have more personalized conversations with you like a human would. So the question is, with all this extra power and ability, will this be artificial general intelligence? Sam Altman says that it's a stepping stone on the way to AGI, but there are those who say that AGI has already been reached. 
if we look back at the Turing test, the Turing test simply said, if you, if you are persuaded that a machine is a human, then it passes the test. So we're long past that at this point. There is narrow intelligence where computers are very good at small, narrow tasks. And then there's general intelligence where they have a general intelligence like humans do. A calculator is the example of narrow intelligence. It is terrible at English, but it's very good at maths. That to me is very different from the current AI models, which do exhibit some kind of general intelligence, even if we haven't quite reached the general intelligence of a human at this stage. It's hard to see in principle why that's not the case. It seems like we push the goalposts out every time the models get better. Whatever the case for ChatGPT 5 when it comes out in the very near future, we can be assured at least that it will be a frontier model. ChatGPT, the new grand models, have always been at the cutting edge of AI abilities and we expect greatness from OpenAI. Some estimates put the power of GPT-5 10x or even 20x above GPT-4. But I'll caveat this to say that all of this is still rumour at the moment. Whatever your definition, with the so-called scaling wall seemingly dealt with at the moment, it looks like intelligence will keep rising at rapid pace. If you disagree or you've got any comments, please leave them below and please do subscribe. Thank you.